Hi, kindergarten through fifth grade leaders. We're preparing for April 25th in our series called The New Me. This week, we're taking a look at Jesus returning to heaven. Um, Jesus has died. He has come back to life. He has um, made appearances to the Emmaus disciples. He's made appearances to his disciples, and he continues to do that for 40 days. And in those 40 days, he also pulls the disciples, his closest disciples, away from um, the crowd. And he, he uses words that we call the Great Commission to tell them that now that they know who Jesus is and they believe who Jesus is, it is their responsibility to go and tell others about this. And we call that the Great Commission. And there's another important part of the Great Commission. As Jesus is finishing um, telling the disciples, it's your turn to go, he tells them, but remember, I am with you always to the very end of the age. That means that he has not, he has not left um, necessarily because the Holy Spirit is about to come on all of the disciples so that they have God's power to speak to other people. In fact, Peter and um, Peter and I'm trying to remember who, who the other disciple is in our next lesson. Um, John. It was with John. <laughs> anyway, they go out and um, do lots of things in Jesus's name, um, not out of their power, but because of the Holy Spirit that's indwelling them. So as a part of our small group today, you're going to get the chance to help kids understand what it is that they're going to tell other people about Jesus. Before we get there, you have some other fun activities that your kids can do. You will have an I Spy activity, and this week it's all about camping because we're getting to that time of year where people want to camp and be outside more. You also have a bag full of building supplies. There are popsicle sticks and clothes pins. And just encourage the kids to work together to see what they can build out of the popsicle sticks and um, clothes pins. It would be nice if we could keep all of these. Um, having to replace them every week is, is challenging because sometimes I can't find all the clothes pins that we need to make this work. So if, if kids love doing this just encourage them to come back next week so that they can play with it some more and we will have we'll make sure that we have um have them on hand but if we send a little bit home every week then it's it's kind of challenging to come up with enough supplies to to do that over and over and over again um then you can watch your video on your Roku channel and listen to your worship songs. I love how you guys each have your own personal favorite worship songs to, to share with the kids. And um, I also love that you spend some time telling them why that's your favorite worship song. That's very, very appropriate. Then in your small group time, you have um, papers that look like this. There should be enough papers there for each kid to make one paper airplane. And you'll notice before they fold it to make the paper airplane that there's a lot of colors on here. Have you ever made one of those bracelets that have the beads on it and the colors all mean something? Well, this is a, a tool I found that has the exact same um, meaning. All of the colors mean something so that we can tell someone about Jesus. So you will also notice in your um, in your leader bag that there are instructions here on how the kids can fold their paper airplane. And if you look on the back, it helps, um, helps walk through what each of these things mean that all the colors that are on their paper airplane. And so I encourage you to, um, to review that with kids multiple times. Give them the chance to practice it with you so that if when they take their paper airplane home and they can take the instruction page home with them as well, when they take those home with them, they will know what to tell somebody all of that means. Also, you can play a little game with them. Um, and um, in your leader guide, it's, it suggests to the kids that you talk about 
um, their planes and ask them if they had fun making them. Do you like how their, did they like how their plane flew? Have you ever flown in a real airplane? Where did you go? Did you have fun there? If you could fly anywhere in the world in a real airplane, where would you want to go? And then this is a good time to kind of make the turn and say that there is a place far better than any of those places. Um, and in our Bible story today, we saw that Jesus went there to make a place for us. It is called heaven. You can't get there in a real plane or a paper airplane, though. Um, and then you can, again, use the paper airplanes to help share the gospel with someone um, and encourage kids. Just like the disciples were called to share the gospel, every single one of us, if we believe in Jesus, it is our responsibility. It's not our responsibility to bring them to church, um, although that doesn't hurt and that's not a bad thing because we will definitely do it while they're at church. It's not um, our responsibility to, um, to ask mom and dad to share. Our responsibility is every single person who believes in Jesus should be telling others why they believe and why they're excited about what they believe in. All right, and then your key passage activity, you have a bag and a piece of a laminated sheet of paper that looks like this with blank boxes. You also have these little cards that have Velcro on the back of them and the kids can um, help use the, the Velcro to put all of the words in order, and then you can say the memory, the, it's not a memory verse, it's a key passage. And it's a key passage because it helps point us to know that the words in the Bible are true. And because the words in the Bible are true, we believe that it points us to Jesus. And when we understand more about Jesus, then it's a whole lot easier, first off, to explain it to somebody else. And then also, so that on days where we're having a hard time um believing or trusting or any of the things that any of us struggle with, then we can use these words as an encouragement to remind us that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. God says when you believe in Jesus and that Jesus is your Savior, you are new. All th everything about you, he doesn't see you for your sins anymore. Jesus covers that. And because of that, then you'll have a new relationship with God. And because you have a new relationship with God, you can do things in a different way to honor him and to build your life um, so that others will know who Jesus is. And then you can pray with your kiddos. You can have some coloring pages. You also have some really great discussion questions if you want to pull out all your activities for them to um, your your building supplies or your I spy activity or your coloring page so for them to do while you have your discussion. That's a great idea. And thank you guys so much for, le for leading kids and loving it. I, um, I love watching you guys build those relationships with kids and you're doing such a great job. I'll see you guys soon.